How's everybody? Good. Good. Well, you know, I think that um, I can't really ever say that I'm pleased with much of anything around here, but I guess relatively speaking, uh, this scrimmage was a lot like you expect a first scrimmage to be. You know, there were a lot of good things, and then there were a lot of things that need to be cleaned up. And we're looking at a lot of people in a lot of different circumstances and situations, and we rotated the quarterbacks a lot to try to give everybody an opportunity, which probably affected the continuity on offense. The offense really started out well, had two great drives in the beginning of the scrimmage, and then it was a little bit hit or miss after that. Uh, but I thought the effort was good. Um, toughness was good. Uh, got a lot of turns for a lot of players that needed knowledge and experience. And I think the number one thing about this is, is it really doesn't matter about the result that anybody got out there today. It's what are your goals? What do you need to do to accomplish the goals that you have? What sacrifices do you need to make? Who do you need to work with? Um, are you going to make the kind of choices and decisions to do the things you need to do to uh, be the best that you can be and uh, create the right habits so that you got a chance to play winning football? So this gives us a great indication of where we are and what we need to do to uh, improve. So uh, that's kind of how I look at it. Uh, if we were where we needed to be, we wouldn't need to practice the rest of the spring or next fall camp. We'd just go play the first game. So we're definitely not ready to do that. And, but I was encouraged by, you know, some of the guys out there. Um, you know, Bo Scarborough ran pretty well, and um, you know, some of the young quarterbacks made some plays. Um, David Cornwell threw the ball fairly well. Um, you know, our Darius Stewart had a really good day. Had seven receptions, made a couple big plays. So, defensively. Um, Batted some balls down, got some turnovers, made some good plays. So when you're playing against yourself, you know, when one team does well, that means the other team didn't do so well. So it's kind of hard to figure out sometimes. And you just got to sort of say, OK, this is where every individual is. And here's where we need to go to get where we want to get. And everybody needs to got, make a choice and decision. You know, everybody kind of has the right to fail. Um, but they don't, have, they don't have the right to fail for their teammates. So everybody needs to make a uh, a commitment to the people who are dependent on them. And I've been pleased with uh, the progress that this team's made so far. So we just need to continue to finish up and um, try to get better. And you know, we obviously, it doesn't help when you have you know three or four starters who aren't out there. It affects the depth at every position. Um, so, and we're trying guys at different positions. So now's the time that we want to find out who can do what. Uh, so we're not doing that experimenting in, in the fall during the season. Start over on the right there. Coach, uh, you mentioned Bo Scarborough. How is he in terms of becoming a complete back in, in terms of blocking and catching the ball other than just running? Well, I think he's got things that he can improve on. I certainly think he's capable of doing all the things that we need him to do. Uh, I think part of it is confidence, knowledge, experience, um, having confidence in, in what he's supposed to do, how he's supposed to do it, uh, why it's important to do it that way. Uh, I think when he, when he understands that, he plays fast and he's very effective. Um, so this is just, but those are the kind of things that we can improve on. Uh, I like his work ethic. I like his toughness. Uh, so I, I think there's things that we need to improve on, but we're encouraged by what he's done to this point. I want to ask about the, the secondary. How are those guys progressing, and particularly at the other cornerback spot opposite of uh, Marlon? Well, um, Mink has been playing corner. Marlon's been doing a nice job at corner. Um, you know, Moe's been playing some star. Tony Brown's been playing star. Uh, Tony Brown's back to playing corner. Um, Minka plays star sometimes. Anthony Everett has done a pretty good job and has made some. Uh, really nice improvement. So um, I don't feel like we have enough depth. We move Mo to safety, Marie Smith, uh, because Eddie's out. Um, so you know, we're, but I, I like the attitude that the players have. I like the work ethic. Um, they made some plays today, and uh, they made some mistakes today. So 
I think this scrimmage was a little simpler than it's going to be most of the time. Uh, we wanted to keep it simple so players weren't confused about what they were supposed to do and we could evaluate how they compete, what their t toughness is, you know, the kind of attitude that they have about what they're trying to do, the kind of effort that they give. So, um, you know, and I, I, was, I was pleased with the group for the most part. Coach, especially, um, it seemed windy out there, at least when we were out there. What are you looking for from quarterbacks on the first day in terms of throwing the ball, the first scrimmage? Well, I, I think that um, I made some good throws today. There was some inconsistencies in the passing game. Um, when I say that, I'm not talking about just the quarterbacks throwing the ball. I'm talking about the protection. I'm talking about the receivers running the right routes, the timing, all those kinds of things. I do think the thing that affects the passing game and the kicking game probably as much as anything is the wind. Uh, and it was really windy, and it was a crosswind, so that even makes it even more difficult. But um, there were some good plays made today, and I'm encouraged by all those guys. I think the big thing they have to do is uh, each and every one of them can't be thinking about where I am on the depth chart, or what my position is, and worry about that. They need to worry about what they need to do to be better so they can play winning football at the position and do the things that they need to do to become a really good quarterback. So, um, and, and I, I think they've done a pretty good job of that so far. Back over here on the left, Michael. Um, similar topic, I know last spring you talked about taking a bull by the horns as a quarterback. Have you seen anything of that? Any progress in that leadership role? No, I, 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 I haven't. Um, I think two things have to happen. I think a guy's got to win his teammates over, uh, but I also think you have to put a guy in a position to be able to do that is also helpful. And, um, you know, we rotated a lot of guys around today, so we're trying to give everybody a chance right now. And we'll evaluate and see how they did on the film and decide how we divvy up the reps next week. It seems like with the offensive line, there's been moving around some different guys this spring, doing some mixing and matching. Just how did they kind of fare as a, you know, as a group today? And is there anybody that's kind of sticking out for you, you know, at this point in the spring slate? Well, Lester Cotton has done a really good job. Uh, he's played left tackle. He's played right tackle. We played him at guard some. Um, Kervin has done a really nice job. Uh, Corwin Kervin has done a really nice job. Um, he hurt his foot a little bit, um, which he missed a practice or two. but. We've been really encouraged by what, what he's been able to do. Really like Ross playing center. I think he's done a nice job and made that transition you know, fairly well. Um, the young guards are making progress and getting better. Um, talking about Dallas and uh, Brandon Kennedy. So we want to work hard to get the best five guys on the field. And the young guy, uh, we've had some of the young freshman guys that have really made progress. Jonah Williams has um, really played nicely and actually played left tackle today with the first team and uh, did a pretty decent job. So, you know, I feel better about the number of guys that we have to coach and develop in the offensive line. Um, we'll, we'll just see what we have to do to get the best five guys out there. Last two. Nick, uh, the other day you were kind of critical of the focus from some of your younger players. Uh, what do you think about that today at, at the scrimmage? And did anybody stand out to you as far as you know the underclassmen, the younger guys? Well, you know that's pretty general. We got a lot of underclassmen. We got a lot of young guys. But um, I, I thought the the focus, the the intensity um, after Wednesday was better on Friday. Yesterday when we practiced, uh, and I thought it was pretty good today. I like the energy and enthusiasm of the players. I just don't think the execution is really, you know, maybe what it needs to be. Um, I don't want to point out some young guy and then, you know, leave out somebody else. So, you know, we're trying to bring them all along. I think the more guys that we can bring along that can play winning football, the better chance we have to be successful in the fall. Last one. Coach, looking at Bar I'm sorry. Damn. Look at <laughs> looking at Barnett's release, he kinda he has a wind up to it from at least what we saw when he's warming up. I'm just curious how do you feel about that? Are you trying to tighten 
his release at all? No. Uh, did you ever see Bernie Kosar throw the ball? I, I mean, I, the best thing you can do is go like this and then just watch where the ball goes. <laughs> and if it's accurate and it's on time and he's got enough arm strength, then you kind of don't worry too much about it. Uh, if the mechanics of how he throws the ball affects those things, uh, then I think you need to worry about it. Um, he doesn't wear it wind up. He just takes the ball back, but he is accurate. Uh, he does have adequate arm strength. Um, so we, we, don't, we don't feel like we need to tinker with the way he throws the ball, to be honest with you, because um, I, I think his knowledge and experience, his confidence of sitting in the pocket and making plays on time, uh, with the young guys, it's to get them, you know, both young guys, um, both freshmen. You know, try to make the play that's there. And don't think you have to make every play and go rat trap on things when you could just execute and do what everybody expects you to do. So, uh, and I think that's just a matter of developing confidence and timing in what you're doing. And I think it just takes time and repetition to do that. So I think both those young guys, that's what I would be more concerned about both of them doing. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you, guys.